Hi guys, thanks to it for stopping by my channel. Um, what we have here, I believe, might be the world record of the maximum number of ESPs on one breadboard. Eh, probably not, because I mean, I could put one, one more very easily right here. And um, at $3 a piece, I'm sure somebody could buy a lot more. Um, anyway, the reason that I'm doing this is because I will. I've wa watched other people typically use uh, an ESP module to talk to a uh, a server, you know, like going to uh, ThingSpeak or going to another PC through the FTDI. But I've never seen uh, any example of them talking to each other. So I started playing with the two of them to make it talk to each other, and that was good. But I thought, well, I have a lot more here would be kind of cool if I could make all of them talk to each other. And so that's the only purpose of this. There, there's nothing uh, special that I'm trying to accomplish other than just playing with um, as many of these CSPs um, at the same time. And so it may be not obvious from here, but um, these ESPs are actually independent from each other. Each one of them has this circuit right here. So each one of them has basically one LED, one of these, and uh, one resistor to pull up, which is back here somewhere. If you, I think you can see it back here. So, and that's all there is uh, uh, per, oh, I forgot, uh, long story. Long story short, basically it also has a 3.3 uh, LDO to uh, convert the five volt from my computer power supply to 3.3 that's needed here. Yes, I know there's 3.3 in here, and I spent a lot of time trying to get that 3.3, the 24 amp right there. It just doesn't work. Um, I could hook up two of these, work just fine, um, but as soon as I hook up three or four, the power rail just went down from the normal 3.3 down to like 2.9, 2.8. And of course, the ESP start failing. So uh, my friend Jay introduced me to this guy right here, the EMS one 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 seven. It's a three point three version volt version of that, and they work great. So I have actually seven of them, one per ESP, but I burn one of them. So this last one, actually these two shares the same LDO, and it still works. So. What else? And they're, like I said, they're all identical, except for the IP address. And there are no wires in between them, other than sharing the power. Um, we already talked about the power supply. Uh, it, it, I used to just run it off the wall adapter. No more. With seven of them, we got 2.1. Way, way too much. And so I just took out the uh, some of the ends of the uh, power supply here, hooked them up into a a jack and now I have a 5 volt and somewhere in that mess I also have a 3.3 uh, I did not bother hooking up the 12 volts but anyway um, enough talking let's uh, see it run so each one of those actually shares the same uh, sketch and the first thing it does as you saw is basically it looks at it looks for the Wi-Fi access point and then when it's found it it turns them out, it turns the LED on so now they're, they're all ready. Each one of them is completely independent from each other. So we could go over here and we could actually go to that. Uh, let's pick, yeah, the 110. If I do 110, it should blink. Like that. And then uh, each one of them actually, like I said, is independent. So let's pick another number. Let's say 102. And every time I refresh, you could probably hear me type on the keyboard. And that's all fun and good. And But I thought what would be cool is for them, like I said, currently I, I'm just going from this browser to that guy or to that guy. But like I said, the, the thing that's more fun is if we could make them talk to each other. But there's no keyboard, so how do you talk to get these guys talk to that guy, and you know, 
and I want them all to be the same code. So what I came up with is a parameter. So if you put a parameter here, so instead of one from 102, let's go to 110. So now what it would do is it will take that 110 as a parameter. It will send the, the 102 will talk to the 102 and it will take the look at the parameter and it will see this 110 and it says, oh, the next guy must be 110. So watch what happened now when I run this one. See how it goes to 102 first and then it goes to 110. Let me do it again. So with that, now basically I have uh, written a couple of macros here and all it is is nothing but a list of those uh, IP address. It's actually just the last part, the last portion because all of them shares the same prefix here. The 192.168.254, they're all the same. So I only put in just the last uh, number. Let me run this one again. I thought it was pretty cool. <laughs> and so I got another one going the opposite direction. And as you can see, there's some lags in there and that's unavoidable because we're going through Wi-Fi and it depends on traffic in my home network here. It depends on probably a lot of in interference from the fan, I don't know. Um, but it's, it's not that reliable, but it is cool. And of course we have to have um, Knight Rider. Let's see, that one didn't work so well. Oh no, that's just going back and forth. So it goes to the right, and then it should go back to the left. Oh, something went wrong there. Let me try again. Uh, that one didn't turn out so well. Let me try one more. This one's supposed to be like a Knight Rider. Goes out and goes back in. Oh, that one is like dizzy. Here it goes. Let me try again. <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool. Completely useless, and that's why I say this is a Rube Goldberg because it is very convoluted way for turning on and off uh, LEDs, which normally you could just have a, an Arduino, hook that up to one, one, each one of the I.O. pins and just rest, do a, a couple of digital writes and be done with it. You know, probably like 10 lines of code. And this one takes a lot more than that because you have to open this, the create a web server. Oh yeah, let's go look at that. So this is what's happening inside. So here's a web browser. The web browser have these parameters as you saw earlier. And we send that through Wi-Fi to the very first one. It doesn't matter which one of these, any one of them, they are all identical. So it sends to the first one that has that address right here, the 110, the 100. And then it will take the first parameter it found and that will be the next guy in chain that it will send the rest of the remaining of the parameters to. So when it receives that, it turns the LED on for 250 millisecond, I believe, or for a quarter of a second. Turns that LED on. It has a timer, so um, when the timer expires, it will just turn it off, so it doesn't have to wait for anything. Meanwhile, as soon as it receives that, it parses the parameters and take the, the 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 first parameter as the next target. And then the remainder of the parameters are simply passed in as parameters. So by the time it goes to here, uh, he will only receive the parameters for 103, 104, etc. And so as it goes down the chain, the parameter gets shorter and shorter until there's no more. And that last one basically, hey, I got nobody else to talk to. So it just stops right there. So um, basically that's the way it works. And like I said, it is very convoluted, but it really proves the point um, that each one of these guys could become a web server and a web client and they could talk to each other and use your imagination as to what you want to use, what purpose. I mean, it, uh, one of the things I could think of is it could be a repeater. So let's say you have uh, a project in which one of the, uh, you want the unit to be far, like in a barn or, you know, out in a field somewhere that is beyond the, uh, the, the reach of your access point. You could have actual just repeaters that takes this and sends it over there, which could be, you know, very far instead of right next to each other right here. And you could repeat it as often as necessary for basically no, no money at all. Instead of putting another access point 
and probably a, a lot more um, wiring and things like that. Um, I think that's about it. Hope you like the project. If you, if you do, please subscribe or press like and leave comments. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.